What's going on, good people, man? This your boy, Small Soldier, right here, back in action once again with another Let's Play adventure, Let's Play episode for Skyrim. This time here, man, we have this quest, Diplomatic Immunity, in which we need to meet with this gal, uh, Delphine in Riverwood. But before we go ahead and do that, man, we're going to make some battle preparations. So the main thing that we're going to do in this episode, man, is prepare ourselves to sneak inside of the Thalmor Embassy. Or rather, once we get inside, sneak about. So, of course, if we can do some sneaking, it's a good thing to get some invisibility potion. So let's hit up Arcadius Cauldron. Right here in uh, Whiterun. And let's use... Oh, before we use the Alchemy Lab, though, before we... Bunks up on that. Let's make sure we equip all the things we can. Where it is? Where it is? All right, right here. So let's equip this necklace. Give us a little bit higher percentage for better, better potions, man. So we're gonna craft some invisibility potion, man. We can use the lunar moth wings and the nun roots. Where's the nun root? Right there. So let's craft some of this, man. We could also use the um, vampire dust. And if you want, man, you could actually buy a few ingredients from home gal right here, Arcadia. She got my name on. <laughs> Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? Nah, you don't. Got something for that. I want what you got. Well, I do, kind of. Take a look. So we could also use, man, what could we use? What could we use? So we also could use this right here, man, the ice wraith teeth. That's it. And I actually don't think I have enough ingredients. Do I have any vampire dust? Let's see. Uh, I might not have any vampire dust. I buy that thing for no reason, eh? Oh yeah, I got some vampire dust. I got six. And where's the ice thing? Come here, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I must be blind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, man. We can make a couple good potions. So we only can make like... Um... Let me see here. How many more potions we can make? Let's make... Alright, that's enough potions right there. Increase the alchemy skills, man. So we got some potions, man. Um, another useful thing, man, is to um, use Muffle when you sneak so they don't hear your footsteps. So we could get some Muffle from old buddy, the mage buddy in Dragon Reach. Let's make our way up there, man. How y'all guys them doing today, man? Um, hope everybody's having an awesome day so far. If not, hopefully I can improve your day. You know, we could try our best to make things better around here, man. Make it a little better. So let's make our way upstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fine day with you around too, man. <laughs> I guess I'm an eligible bachelorette. Round these parts. All right. So let's hit up Mr. Farangar. Usually be off in this room right here. Where you at, Farangar? Let me steal your damn petty soul. He must be eating breakfast, eh? Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. I Not no really. Fault. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me, I prefer my books. And Good for you. <laughs> what you got for sale, man? Take a look. So yeah, I mean, he has a, a lot of useful um, uh, spells on him, but the one that we're interested in is Muffle. Where Muffle at? Yeah, Muffle. All right, that's it, partner. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Major's College in Winterhold. All right, thanks, man. That's the first positive thing you've ever said to me. He could usually be a little bit of a Jack Daniel, but um. Let's go ahead, learn that muffled skill. I'm gonna make it a favorite. Make things a little bit easier to access, man, in the heat of the moment. So we're almost done with our preparations. Um, we could go ahead and get a few more stuff. Actually, man, what I need to go get, I need to get some clothes. <laughs> um, because um, when you sneak inside, you gotta give up you know, your armor. So you need to make sure you have a proper set of clothes on you. So you don't be walking around the place naked. You know, some little kids might see you or whatever. We got to keep it PG up in, up in um, Skyrim, man. Let's hit up the crib. 
get some clothes from the stash man hit up our closet hit up our wardrobe Let's see what we got I mean I just need anything anything to get from point A to point B piece of clothing I ain't got no damn clothes up in here eh? <laughs> hell nah uh, uh, I guess I could go with mage robes alright Let's make our way out. Actually, you can't carry your companion. I don't think you could carry your companion with you on this uh, mission. I could be wrong. So now, what do we need to do? Uh, that's right. We got to meet uh, Delphine in Riverwood. Let's go ahead. Talk with her. See what she's all about. Where you at, gal? Alright. What do you need? I need. <laughs> I'm gonna say something wrong. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I thought I saw something red. These damn dragons, man. What you want, dragon? What you want? Why don't go home, man? <laughs> this could be a little annoying sometimes. You know that. Line your ass. There we go. Light you up. Light you up. I guess I was due for a dragon encounter. Use some destruction skills, man. The only good thing about um, fighting in this town, a lot of people with arrows. Light him up. Light him up. I ain't scared of you, partner. Come on, that's all you got? What am I doing? <laughs> Me need some more magica. Magica, magica, magica. Uh, I should have crafted some magica, man. That's something else to do for preparations. I ain't got no damn magica. Or I just passing it and I can't see it. Anyway. Well, you know, I sitting there getting lit up. Like a fool. That ain't good for my health. I ain't good for my health. Come on, line on the thing. Where you at? Oh, you come, you come, you come in primary zone. You come in primary zone just now, partner. You about to be in trouble. You about to be in trouble. You about to be. You about to be. You about to be in trouble. Yeah, that's all she wrote. And that's what happens when you mess with the dragonborn. I got the power. Uh, I ain't really into all them. Bone and scales, we'll leave them for right now. I don't feel like carrying too much extra things, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh. Oh, another thing. <laughs> you know, I always got to do that little chant, man. Um, another thing that could be useful is the. Where we at? The throw voice. You could use that during this quest, so. Um, if you don't have it, you, I mean, it's not necessary, I don't think. But you could use it to... Yeah, I did. I shanked too sung that bastard. But um, you could use that man to um, distract some of the enemies once you make your way up into the embassy. Anyway, let's talk to Miss Blade Gyal. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. Lead the way. Get in here, gal. We need to close the door. Alright, you stay here. <laughs> she don't ever listen. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Oh, how is that? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. They don't know me. So what's your plan, man? 
The Thalmor ambassador, Elenwyn, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Elenwyn's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? Yeah, man. If you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Uh, this contact of yours, man. You sure you could trust, buddy? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. You need to poison all them bastards. Um, all right, so we just go hit up uh, Malborn in Solitude. Sounds good. Be careful. Sure thing. Also, if you didn't pillage this place before, you can make sure you get some useful items. Longbow, couple of weapons and thing. So let us proceed on. Exit the premises. <laughs> it's funny how she's walk up them stairs. What? Something you're still confused about? No, I straight man, yeah. I good to go. You need to close your entrance though. You can't be letting people what if someone come up in here, man? They'll know all your business. Something you're still confused about? They'll know where your bot cave at. Gotta keep your stuff hidden, man. Alright. So now let's make our way to the port city of Solitude. All the way north up here. Alright man, um, if this is your first time, well this might not probably be your first time up here, but I would suggest talking to a lot of people if you want. You could actually get a lot of different quests in this area man. You could talk to Buddy there, talk to some of these people, you could talk to that dude right there. You know, check them out, man. See what they got going on. But we need to hit up this bar right here. The Skeeva. Mighty Mouse, as I like to call them. And here is our contact. Can't look too... Can't look too... Uh, sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. All right, that's good to know, man. Mr. Icarus. So <laughs> let's we can't look too um too suspicious. So let's just slowly walk over there and have a seat. What do you need? Yes. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. All right. Let me see here. Uh, I'm ready, man. What you need? Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. So I can just give him. I mean, I don't plan on causing too much drama when I up in there, but you never know, right? You got to come prepared, man. Let me give him some of that. What else I can give him? They give him my elven armor. Beat the Talmor with their own stuff. I need that to, to wear when I step out the premises. Oh, potions. I almost forget. Gone through all that effort to make them preparations. It's a magical just in case. Uh, healing potions too. You never know. Give him all the invisibility potions. All the healing potions. Be a couple of stamina. Let me just give him a couple of them. Damn, I can't believe I didn't craft no um, magic command. Hope that don't come back to bite me. I think that's all I need to give him. Alright, you talking but I ain't hearing you, partner. <laughs> hey, need to put on them clothes though. There we go. Can't be stepping outside. Without no clothes on, you know, gotta keep a low-key profile. Alright, so now... 
We can make our way back to the blade girl. And then go about our business, man. Where she at? She should be somewhere close, right there. <laughs> See, you got children walking about the place, man. I, that's why I gotta make sure I got my clothes on, you know? Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? I surely did. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I know, I know, gal. Hold your horses, man, while I put on my clothes, while I put on these treads. Alright. I think preparation's complete. You know, got my character looking a little cute. You know, she dressed she dressed for the party occasion, man. Slightly, I guess. So once you finish making all your preparations, you could go ahead and bunks up inside, man, and then you should be good. You should pass for a real to go. At least until you open your mouth. <laughs> That's so wrong. I am ready. Don't worry, they will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Alright. So we're gonna make our way towards the embassy. Sneak up on in, at least that's the plan. There's some like, you know, Mission Impossible. Ethan Hunt type thing right here. That first Mission Impossible was dope though. Actually like, all of them. Some more than others. Uh, Second one was kind of interesting. And arriving by carriage, no less. That's how I roll. Lady. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. All right. Glad to hear your life story. Often the day before the party. Let me go give these people my invitation. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Sure thing, man. Thank you, Mom. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh. So <laughs> I'll see that dude inside. Guests are advised to remain People so talkative around these parts. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Oh, you're Ellenwyn? Oh, man, I've heard so much about you. Have you? All good, I trust. But you have me at a disadvantage. I'm afraid I know nothing about you. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the... Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. Are you cool, man, yeah? I definitely will enjoy myself. Um... So yeah, man. So preparations completed. We're inside, and we about to do our little sneak mission, man. Um, probably gonna call it a session right here. Gonna pick off right from this point, and then go from there, man. Um, so folks, that is pretty much that, man. Just wanted to give you guys this quick let's play episode for Skyrim, in which we did part of the mission diplomatic community basically we was just making sure we had all the preparations in place before we get up into this bad boy but uh let me know what you guys thoughts are in the comments below as always i appreciate the support and with that there fellas man i guess i will see you guys in the next video